in my yard that he's a newborn from this year. He ended up getting roundworm from a raccoon that has been hanging around the house. Uh, comes and goes. Sometimes they don't see him for two, three weeks. And then all of a sudden the raccoon shows up again. But uh, anyways, uh, I've got opossums also that have been living in the garage. But them, they're, they're fine. I, I actually enjoy them around the yard. They're good to have. But you can see this poor squirrel. See this? He's so messed up, his coordination, he can't sit right. He has uh, his head bobs up and down. Uh, he falls over. He'll just be standing there, and all of a sudden, he'll just fall over, and he has a heck of a time trying to get back up. Um, unfortunately, once they get roundworm, it's pretty much a death sentence. There, there's not much you can do. If you could actually get them to the vet early enough, um, apparently they can help. But yeah, this is something that's not good. And it comes from raccoon feces. So yeah, if you like your squirrels and if you got a raccoon in the yard, you need to get rid of that raccoon. Because eventually when they step in it and then they eat something, it's just going to be a bad situation for everybody. But see how he's kind of like losing control? I feel so bad for the little guy. All right, well, I just wanted to get put this video out there and let you know about uh, raccoons in your yard. Not good. All right, thanks, guys.